What's going on guys and I'm here today with another subscriber requested video which I thought was really interesting because it's something that I struggled with myself uh, for a very very long time and it's going to be about procrastination and you know why we procrastinate and how to actually beat procrastination and like I said guys you know this is something that I struggled with for such a long time especially when I was in uni you know I really did struggle with um, we've been productive and getting everything done in one go, you know, uh, without distractions, without um, you know, stopping every five minutes to scroll on nine gag and all stuff like that. And uh, for me, like one of the, the biggest things that really helped me was figuring out like why do I procrastinate? What is it that makes me, you know, want to do small, uh, meaningless tasks over the one thing that I should be doing? And I think it comes down to three things, like the three reasons why we procrastinate. Number one is just limiting beliefs. You know, if we need to do something, but we don't truly believe that we can pull it off or that we can do it, then, you know, we just, we, we find things that we know we can accomplish or we know that if we do it, you know, we, we get that dopamine uh, hit right away. For example, um, let's say you've got a big project due or you're working on a big project, you're working on a webinar or whatever you know, you're working on and you know something inside you, like you've got that little voice in your head thinking that like um, you know you'll fail or the webinar won't convert or the project that you're going to hand in you know you won't get um, a good mark for it or anything like that, the project you won't be able to complete it on time you know if you've got that in your head you're gonna you know you're not gonna be fully motivated to complete that task are you going to look for something that you know you can complete so you're going to look for something small that might, that might not be as important or definitely not be as, as important because you know, you know that is something that I can complete and that is something that you know with the least resistance with the least efforts I can get done and still get that like mini dopamine hit that you do get when you complete a task so limiting beliefs is the number one reason in my opinion why people procrastinate and how you can like um, overcome that is just by having the awareness, understanding, you know, why you are, why you have those limiting beliefs. You know, why is it that you don't feel fully confident in what you're doing? Another big reason why people procrastinate is lack of organisation. So if you are everywhere with your task, you know, you've got a to-do list there, you've got your calendar there, and uh, you know your, your desk is cluttered and there's all kinds going on, and you're trying to multitask. You've got all the tabs open and what you know whatever. Then it's going to be really really hard to focus and you know to actually get started or get working on what you're supposed to be working on and yeah you know if you've got all kinds of things going on in the background it's going to be really hard to stay focused and you will get distracted and yes you know you will procrastinate and again this is something that i struggled with for a very long time especially when um i first discovered like reddit and nine gag and stuff like that when i was in uni you know it was really hard for me to stay focused and to stay um i had to do a lot of reading in uni and while i was reading you know, you'd get like a pop-up saying like there's a new um, threads or topic or whatever on reddit um you know do you want to check it out and stuff like that the notifications were going off and yeah you know i think oh, i'll just quickly see what it is see if i want to subscribe to it and then before you know it you're two hours down a reddit thread you know looking at comments and stuff like that or you're on nine gag scrolling through memes and you know this lack of organization can make you feel very overwhelmed because you feel like there's all kinds going on and it's gonna be really hard for you to focus okay so the first big reason why people procrastinate is that limit and belief the second one is lack of organization and then we're going to move on to the third which is lack of reason and if you do not truly understand why you're doing something it's going to be really hard to motivate yourself to actually go out and do it okay so this all comes down to knowing your why if you know why you're doing it it's going to be much much easier to get it done but again you need to break it down so if let's say for example um you want to get something you want to bring out a ebook because you want to become a millionaire eventually that why is far too big for what you're now doing so you need to break that why down into something smaller so you know for you to understand why you're actually doing it and give it a good reason why you want to create that ebook so instead of saying okay i want to be a millionaire eventually you need to break it down okay i want to earn six figures this year which is you know a hundred thousand dollars euros whatever okay for that i need to earn eight thousand three hundred a month okay so that means i need to roughly earn 300 a day you know something like that i'm not even sure if the maths are correct there but 
once you know that okay you need 300 a day and your ebook is 50 that is far too expensive for an ebook but for example then you understand why you need to get that ebook created and you'll be much more motivated to actually get that ebook done again ebook is uh, just an example but just understand what your why is will make it much much easier to give yourself a reason to go out and do it okay so now we've sort of uh, got over why we procrastinate or why we get the ears to procrastinate now i just want to give you like my small tips and tricks that have helped me along the way to almost overcome procrastination because guys i still procrastinate myself it is something that um i do struggle with but now it is very very limited whereas uh, before i started applying all these tips and tricks um you know i really did struggle with it and the very very first one for me or very first trick for me was just break it down into small tasks so for example i want to edit a video for a client uh, back when i was doing content creation and you know to edit an entire video to go through all the files to see which uh, clips you want to use to edit the entire video to sort out the audio to add music to add everything to it you know that is a very very big task and it feels daunting and you feel like you know what um, I'm just going to watch this for half an hour first or I'll watch an episode of this first because it's such a big task but rather than doing it that way if you break it down into small tasks and say for example okay for the first uh, half an hour I'm just going to sort out which clips I'm going to use and which ones I'm not and then from there you give yourself a small break and then you move on to the next small task because you're breaking it down to small tasks it's much more manageable to actually get it done because you're breaking it down to small tasks you're much, much less likely to procrastinate because you think oh you know what it's manageable i can get this done and then you go out and do it and i've already said it before but my second tip is to actually give yourself small rewards for every single time you get a small task done so again back to the content creation back to the editing of a video for a client there was a point where there was a lot of back and forth with a client and I just lost like the motivation to actually get this video done. I, w I already got paid and he wanted some last minute uh, changes which uh, was like quite awkward to do. So we had to go through the entire video to make sure everything lined up again. And uh, like I said, I lost the motivation to get it done. So what I actually done is I picked out a film that I really wanted to watch. I watched 15 minutes of the film, paused it, done 15 minutes of editing, then paused, uh, stopped the editing and then watched 15 minutes of film. So, you know, um, the film, watching the film was like my small reward for doing the editing. And again, I just done uh, 15 minutes of editing, 15 minute film, and then I just uh, constantly done that until the work was done. And again, you know, it's manageable because it's only 15 minutes. And, you know, at the end of it, you get the small reward of watching 15 minutes of a film. And the last one, I know it sort of goes without saying, but I really do want to drive this one home, is just to limit distractions okay i have no notifications on my phone other than whatsapp iMessage and phone calls you know i've turned off all the email notifications on my computer i've got do not disturb on constantly i've unsubscribed to almost every single email list you know everything in the background is quiet i put my phone um, you know facing down on night mode if i need to get something done and i do place it away from my desk so it's out of reach and i can't you know automatically get it anything like that um if i do need my phone or if i do have my phone I, on my desk i use an app called forest um basically you plant like a, a, a virtual tree and uh, if you go on your phone you know before the time it ends the tree will die and it's like a psychological thing um you, you know you, it's it's it gives you like the small reward of that tree being uh, fully grown once you uh, once the timer is done and you haven't been on your phone in the meantime a uh, very good app highly recommend getting it uh, it's a few dollars at the time that i got it. it might be free now i'm not really sure i haven't checked in a while but uh you know small apps like that really do help me and another app that i use on my computer is called self-control where you can block off certain websites for a certain amount of time so at the time that i was studying i blocked websites like nine gag youtube google netflix uh, stuff like that and then set the time for like four hours so in those four hours if you try and go on those websites uh, which sometimes you know, on autopilot you just type it in you, you automatically go to Facebook when you open Safari or Google Chrome then that website will be blocked and it'll just say like there's no internet connection for this website so guys those are all the tips that I got for today if you want to know more about being productive breaking down limits and beliefs uh, having that that unstoppable mindset then i highly recommend you look at lifestyle design manifesto which is my 30 day 
podcast where every single day you get a roughly a 20 minute podcast on productivity, on what kind of books you need to read, on how to surround yourself with the right people, how to start an online business, you know, how to work on the business, not in the business, all kinds of money tips and tricks on basically how to live the laptop lifestyle. If you want that, it's in the description box down below. It's only two euros a day, which is less than a cup of coffee a day. You know, you can't get it much cheaper than that. All linked in the description box down below. Check it out. Like the video if you've got something out there. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.